try. Thank you. I'll try. Yeah, I'll, I'll use the other lady because I was out of the office. Oh, thank you. This is just to look down every bun that we come across with, okay? Okay. I feel you're violating the Fourth Amendment, but. Somebody, either there's another one where she's good to go. Yeah, sir, you're good to go. You know, you can leave the courthouse at any time. Just for right now, just to go back in there. You know, twinkle them, and come back some other day. You'll be good to go. I mean, you can stay here if you want to, as long as you don't cause a disturbance. Well, no, I'm not trying to cause any disturbance. I'm, I'm going to turn off my recorder. I need to go in. I need to get my information about my charge. Okay. They, they told me as long as I turn it off. Okay. Yeah. As long as you go in there, turn it off, and. Yeah. Don't argue with them, you're good. No, I'm not causing any problem. I didn't even want to cause any problem. We're yeah. going to stay out here just in case. Okay? But you know why we responded, right? The reason is something happened in there. I don't know what happened. I, like I said, we showed up later. They pushed the panic button, which automatically re uh, requests law enforcement presence. I could tell because as soon as they saw this phone, everybody was like, whoa, whoa. They acted like I had a gun or something. Okay. Yeah. Well, Get uh, an information. Are you recording, sir? Yes. Okay. Okay. You're not recording. Uh, here. You have to turn it off. Is that? A, it is not permitted to. It has to be recording here. Isn't this a public place? Yeah. You cannot record it here, sir. This is a public building, right? Yeah. I'm gonna call. Uh, we're gonna move on. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I just need my, uh, information. Okay. What, if for a misdemeanor case? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Record? Yeah. You can record us, right? We need you to turn off the phone. All right. Can be recording in here. What law is that? Can I get my information, sir? You can be recording us, sir. Are you, are you stating a law? You can be recording us. But you have no law to state. Not allowed to record our conversation while we're trying to get their his record from the system so we would be more than happy to help him with his records however he cannot record us you got that sir he's well, asking us to state a law i mean it is office policy and it's also for the safety of our clerks the safety yes i'm deputy robinson at the sheriff's office they do have rules in here you're more than welcome to record but not in here you can record our conversation outside 
but you can't con you can't do that anymore. As, as far as I knew, this is a public place, right? Yes, sir. So, yes, and sir. you sworn off to the First Amendment, so I should have a right to record this. But they have office policy that doesn't allow you to do that. Well, I can see that you guys are bringing the goon squad here. We'd What's a goon squad, sir? Well, you're one of them. I'm a goon squad? What happened? I just went in to get my information. How come they followed you on that? Well, they obviously got very angry that I was recording my getting my information, which, believe it or not, I was only doing it for my own notes. Because you were recording for, well, that's what, that's what they call us. Yeah. They, they question you. Well, they, they everybody answer. started, whoa, whoa, he's recording. And then, oh, okay. yeah, I wasn't even trying to start nothing. Yeah, that's one of their policies because of the workers and because of all the workers that they have here that you cannot record in there. You can record here at the courthouse and everything, but not in there. The phone was like this. So you can record it. You know what I mean? What were you asking for? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I just got out of jail. I'd just like to get the information as to why I was arrested. Did you need to get out of jail? This morning. Okay, so you bring that to the Yeah. So you should be clear. We, we have to know who we're coming in contact with, and then we have to make sure there's someone. That's why we ask for your ID. Okay? Well, I feel the Fourth Amendment protects me from unreasonable searches of my papers. We're not searching. Well, you're searching my papers by taking my ID. No, you took it out yourself. Would because you, I, you have guns and badges. No, you, you, could just, you could just tell me your name and date of birth. Even that, that's a search of my papers. Okay. Yeah. But that's an argument for another day. Are you here from, are you from El Paso? I live in Horizon. Horizon. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm mixed race, sir. Robert, George, Robert, Edward, Mark. What do you think, sir? Um, no, no, no. Oh, I thought it was talking about you. You good? Yeah. yeah. No. Uh, no, you know what? Every time we run people, we run people, there's, even for us that were Hispanics, we have to say white. So we have to either pick one. So. Okay. Yeah, which a lot of people complain because, like, that's a word for us, a word Hispanic, they think they should be, they should be in a race, but it's the ethnicity, according to the way it's ran, you know? Well, I'm sensitive to it. I feel that my mother's black, my father's white, that makes me mixed race. So, it's good. You're good. I mean, I'm not going to argue with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When you have to fill out forms, how do you do it? They only give me one choice. I have to put black. And it makes me angry because I have a white father. So I feel I'm mixed race. And I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. Hello, this is Deputy Minister Charles Eleven. I guess I'm not going through the radio. Can, can I do the 29? Uh, can I give you the deal number? And you know what I've noticed? That uh, depending where you go, they have different ways of filling those things out. You know? Yeah, some places actually have a box for me, mixed yeah. race. Yeah. Or other or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I feel you're violating the Fourth Amendment, but. Hello. 
Good to go? Yeah? Sir, you're good to go. You know, you can leave the courthouse at any time. Just for right now, just go back in there, you know, twinkle down and come back some other day. You'll be good to go. I mean, you can stay here if you want to, as long as you don't cause a disturbance. Well, no, I'm not trying to cause any disturbance. I'm going to turn off my recorder. I need to go in. I need to get my information about my charge. Okay. They, they told me as long as I turn it off. Okay. Yeah. As long as you go in there, turn it off, and yeah. don't argue with them, you're good. No, I'm not causing any problems. I didn't even want to cause any problems. We're no. going to stay out here just in case. Okay. But you know why we responded, right? The reason is something happened in there. I don't know what happened. I, like I said, we showed up later. They pushed the panic button, which automatically re uh, requests law enforcement presence. I could tell because as soon as they saw this phone, everybody was like, whoa, whoa. they acted like I had a gun or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll talk to their supervisor in regards to the incident and see what they want to do in regards to the recording. Okay, like I said, I don't know their policies, so they have their own policies in there, but we'll talk to their supervisor to see what the recording policies are. And you can ask to speak to a supervisor as soon as you walk in there, if you feel something wasn't done right. I just... Okay, but if, if we're called and we believe there was a disturbance, we have every right to ask for your ID and you have to provide it. I'm not mad at you guys. I know that you guys, of course, you're just, you don't know what you're coming into. Mm -hmm. But these people in here, somebody needs to have a big sit down and talk about mm -hmm. that there's policy and law. So... Like I said, for now, just to win your problems, just go, put on the phone, put it away. Um, Request the information, get what you want, and if you're gonna complain, complain later on that we, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I'm not. But like I said, you're more than welcome to go back in there and ask them to speak to a supervisor and have them explain their policies. I think I'll do that another day. I'm not looking for any trouble. Okay, I just, sounds good. Yeah. All right, don't forget your stuff. Yep.